we are here at Jaidex Technology Week 2021. I have with me Husni Hamoud, who is Managing Director of ESET Middle East. And ESET is a cybersecurity company, a quite renowned cybersecurity company. So let's welcome Husni. Hi, how are you? Hi. It's a pleasure to have you here at Techxpedia. Well, the pleasure is mine. It is a good opportunity to see everybody after a long time now. Yeah, definitely. So, um, uh, Husni, as per the trends, the cybersecurity industry has um, uh, seen has been showing a tremendous growth since 2020, since the pandemic began. So, how do you see industry faring in post-pandemic era? Well, uh, always cybersecurity. It was. Uh, an area of uh, a great development because of the uh, risk and mitigation required because of the uh, uh, let's say a lot of hacking happening and uh, big liabilities on all levels on the CO levels and on the business itself so during the pandemics I believe that uh, we had a, a major change in our uh, business operation so it pushed into more into digital transformation and uh, it uh, pushed our uh, 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 borders to the uh, to the outside to the remote home user so the uh, business by uh, in this case they had to take extra measures they have to uh, to enhance their security by reaching to each single point and each single front so they have to make sure that the endpoint protection is there they have to ensure that the business service is there they have to ensure the cloud because everybody goes into the cloud nowadays to be able to uh, be dynamic and agile uh, and to do uh, whatever uh, you used to do from remote and at the same time a lot of compliance requirement they never stop so data protection is required. So based on this, the cybersecurity is at its peak now and everybody is racing to, to do the best solution for that. Definitely, definitely. So you are here in cybersecurity industry for a long time. Uh, when you see what makes a company cyber resilient and how are you solving this for your customers with your solutions? The, uh, there's no single solution. Everybody should, in security, can tell you there is not, there is no hundred percent security. So it's a puzzle where you have to uh, look into the different part of it. As I said, you have to look at the outside, you have to look at the inside, you have to look at the people, and you have to look nowadays on the clouds because yeah. and the transmission in between. So by doing that. In each area, you have different solutions. So, from ESA perspective, we are covering multiple factors here. We have the endpoint security with anti and by antiviruses. We have the cloud uh, uh, solutions to be able to to manage uh, all your enterprise, home, and uh, uh, people. And at the same time, we have to go into the uh, uh, data classification and uh, um, access to the uh, to, to this uh, information so we we do have and we have to train so on top of the tools that it has to be comprehensive altogether you have to do the processes and you have to train your people to have be secure uh, oriented so whatever they receive any information they have to to be able to uh, aware and uh, justify the, the access to, to this information, they have to make sure that it's coming from a uh, reputable uh, source or a safe source because the uh, security is uh, depends on the weakest point that you have within your premise. So any of this point, if you have any weaknesses somewhere, whatever you do, done. So yes, it's a, it's a zero or one. That, that's interesting. So as we are already in fourth quarter of uh, 2021 and we are uh, about to enter 2022, how has the year 2021 for uh, ESET and what can we expect from company in post-pandemic era and uh, in rest of the 2021 and 2022? Uh, 2021, it, uh, it was a year of uh, going back to normal from uh, disasters uh, 2020. It affected the behavior and the performance and the operation of multi companies and it also affect our development 
to uh, approach the problem during pandemic. And especially where work from home, work from everywhere, uh, classification of your data, access uh, to your data. We had a lot of uh, uh, attacks and based on the latest report of ESA, ransomware is going uh, big time nowadays. Uh, data uh, privacy where healthcare industry, a lot of uh, companies are going into the uh, web uh, or e-commerce uh, platform, so which is uh, now it's a major uh, uh, area of attacks for the hackers and all the uh, bad guys, let's call them. So this is where we, we move into how to secure that, how to make it easy to manage, how to use artificial intelligence, machine learning to understand the behavior and the zero day attacks, how it's going to happen. So this is what made a big difference for for ESET and I can say for all people who are, or companies involved into cyber security and secure them, uh, secure the world. That's that's really interesting. Thank you so much for being here with us and for this value, uh, for this insightful conversation. Thank you so much for being here. Well, we hope to have you again. Take care. Thank you very much. And uh, I would like thank you to 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 say thank you for everyone attending the event. And uh, we have to make sure that to say that we are here to support and to secure. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Stay tuned to TechX to know more about what is happening at Jairix Technology Week 2021. Goodbye.